Nation. What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ back again. It's Nest News. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification. Brooklyn Forever Gang Gang, you know what it is. So two things before I start this video off. Uh, I want to shout out you guys. You guys have been supporting me so heavy. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the love, all the comments. I made this for Nest Nation, you know what I mean? So... It's where we can gather our ideas, you know, debate. Sometimes we're going to disagree. Sometimes we're going to agree. But at the end of the day, we're just Brooklyn we Nation. So second thing, I made an Instagram. So go follow that. It's called Nets Kingdom 7-Eleven. I will be streaming the games. So follow that Instagram. Um, if I get to 200 followers by this Sunday, I will stream the game on IG Live. So, you know, follow that. You guys know what it is, gang, gang. Um, so let's get into it. The next news. So KD came out in an interview. He got interviewed, uh, I think it was yesterday, and said he will play the four or five this season. Also, he's waiting on Steve Nash um, to let him know about his his load in his minutes. So for the preseason, don't expect KD to play a lot of minutes, guys. I expect him to play maybe like the first half and then maybe like a little bit of the third and then Steve's going to take him out. But let me play this KD clip so you guys can hear what he said in his words. Talking with the training staff and the coaching staff to see um, what my load will be for this first preseason game. But as far as you know, schemes and how I fit on the, in the offense and defense, I think uh, coach is going to use me in a variety of ways, and um, especially as a as a you know small ball five four sometimes and bringing the ball up too. So I just got to be ready for anything. So there you go. And I love that about Brooklyn, y'all. I love that we can just be a chameleon and switch lineups. Like, we're so versatile. Remember that Lakers team? That Lakers team that have, um, they could go big and small. Like, LeBron, sometimes when they play, like, a big team, they'll put JaVale and Dwight in. And sometimes they can, when they play the Rockets or a small ball team, they'll put uh, AD at the five and Markeith Morris at the four. You know what I mean? So, Brooklyn has that ability to just be a chameleon and switch lineups. You know what I mean? You feel me? So let's rewind it back to that death lineup. The last time KD actually played like the four or five. So let's rewind it back. Well, so um, right here, you see Clay passes off to KD, right? Now watch right here. You see how open the lane is? The lane is so open. With the ability to go small at KD at the five, he has the ability to just like take the defense and the shooters are gonna be open. Joe Harris is gonna be open. Kyrie's gonna be open because he just draws that middle and spaces the floor, right? And then, the next clip, right? You see how uh, KD draws his man. He, he crosses over. He goes baseline. If we had Jared Allen or DJ in there right now, they would just clog the middle. But with the ability, let's say we have Jeff Green at the four, and he's actually a better shooter than Draymond. So it'll be this is gonna be a more death a more death lineup with Draymond with Jeff Green. Like KD can just boom dish it to Jeff Green, and it'll be a wide open three. You know what I mean? So. That's just a little bit of clips of KD when he was at the Hamptons 5, you know, the death lineup. Um, so let's get into these other notes I have here. Uh, let's go into some Nets tweets. Um, Chioza said he had some two-way offers from other teams but felt the chance to stay with the Nets and go for an NBA title, which was the best opportunity. So, yeah, you know, I, I really like Chris Chioza. Like, he was a key guard for us. He stepped up in the bubble I really want to see how he develops, y'all. I'm really glad Chris Shields is saved. They call him Cheese, you know, in Brooklyn Nation Cheese. So I really hope he stays. And then this next tweet, uh, KD is going to see minutes as a stretch five when DeAndre Jordan was asked. He said he, if he has any tips on playing center. He laughed. He said, no, he's Kevin Durant. You know, DJ know what's up. You know KD's that guy, y'all. You know KD's that guy. And then the next thing in that news I want to talk about this Harden thing, man. I'm tired of talking about this Harden thing. Like, now I'm hearing that Rockets want Kyrie or KD in any offer for Harden. Like, come on, man. Harden, come on. Can you, can you just be happy and play with the Rockets this season? Like, now I'm hearing he wants to go to the Bucks. He wants to go to the Six. Come on, man. Like, like Harden, come on. We are not giving up KD for you or Kyrie for you. Sorry. That's a no-no. We might not even, we're not even giving up Karis for you. And listen here, guys. Harden is not going to leave the Rockets unless the Rockets get a star back. Like, they want a star back. They don't want no role players. They want a star back, y'all. So, just take that in mind, y'all. They, they want a star back. They're not going to trade Harden for no, like, role players. and They're going to want picks, too, but they're not going to trade Harden. They want a star back, y'all. And then I'm looking at these ratings that ESPN put up, right? 
Now look at this. They put a NBA ranks one through ten. KD's a, a six? What? Is you dumb? You're telling me Giannis, Luca, and Kawhi is better than K Come on, y'all. Come on, ESPN. See, this is why journalism. Like, if they, I understand they're saying about last season, but they gotta put that emphasis on this is according to last season. They pulling this up like it's the Ten Command Leagues. Like it's garbage. Like Kyrie is not that low, y'all. Like. Bam Abdebayo is not number 13 best player. Come on, he's not better than Kyrie. Come on, son. They put Zion at 19? Come on, man. Like, these ESPN. This is why I, I make a YouTube like this. I make pages like this because, like, we got to speak the truth here. Like, talent-wise, this ESPN 100 is garbage. They're on crack. Like, come on, y'all. They got to do better than that, y'all. But, yeah, um... I appreciate you guys love this that's all about finesse news um sunday we play the wizards so my next video i'm just gonna be talking about the nets um preseason preview the wizards lineup i'm probably gonna drop that video maybe saturday friday uh i appreciate you guys you know what i mean like nest nation is holding me down all 100 i appreciate you guys i'm glad you guys are commenting run that comments up tell me your thoughts what are your thoughts on um, preseason? How much you think Katie's going to play? Let me know in the comments. Um, it's Nest Nation. It's Nest News. You already know Brooklyn Gang Gang. I'm out. One.